this video, I really wanted to make a top inspired by this Pinterest pin. If any of you guys make this top, make sure you tag me in pictures or comment down below to let me know how it went. To make this project, you'll need chunky weight wool. I used the Serdar Special Chunky in parchment because I had a load of it left over, so I thought I might as well use it up. And a size five or six millimeter hook. To get started, you want to measure the width across the front of your chest. I will draw a little picture here to explain what I mean, but you need to know this distance so that you can make your top the right width. You need to create a chain that will stretch to this length because the top will stretch as you put it on. So you don't want it to be exactly this length or else the top will be a bit loose. As you can see here, as I pull my chain, it comfortably makes the distance that I want. Now you've finished your chain, what you wanna do is you wanna do a row of half double crochets. Essentially, yarn over, you put the hook in the second loop from the chain, you yarn over again, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. I'll go through that again, yarn over, this time putting it in the next chain, yarn over again, pull that through the loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. You wanna do this in each stitch all the way to the other end. Once you get to the other end, chain one and turn your work. In your next row of stitches, you're gonna increase. So this means doing two half double crochets into the first stitch from the hook. Yarn over, put through the first loop from the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops, and then you do the same into the same stitch again. So yarn over, put through the loop, yarn over, pull through the loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So you have two stitches in your first stitch. And then the rest of them, you're just gonna do one half double crochet in each stitch. When you get to the last stitch, you're gonna increase again. So you do two do half double crochets into this stitch. You do this increasing the same way for each row until you have a section like this that that will create the bit that holds your chest. I'll, again, I'll put a diagram on the screen so you can see what I mean, but it should cover this bit and fit nicely under your chest so it will create a supporting section, if that makes sense. Then it's time to do two more rows, but instead of increasing each time, do them the same way you did the first one. So one half double crochet in each stitch. Now, because we've reached under the chest, so we've created the top half of the top, it now needs to decrease towards the bottom. The amount of decreases you do will depend on the width of your top. So if your top is wider than mine, it will take longer for you to decrease to a point. You might wanna do two decreases at the end of each side. If you're a similar size to me, you can just do one all the way and it should reach a point. It might be a bit of trial and error and seeing how it goes until you figure out what works for you. To create the decrease, you're going to yarn over, put your hook through the loop, yarn over, as if you were going to do a half double crochet, but without finishing it, you then yarn over again, put it into the next loop that you haven't yet crocheted into, yarn over, pull through the loop, and then you yarn over and pull through all loops. Turns the two previous stitches into one. And then for the rest of the row, if, if you're making a top a similar size to mine, you just half double crochet all the way along or if your top is a bit wider and, you, and you've decided that just one increase on each row will make the top too long, you can do another decrease after this. For me, I just then went on and half double crocheted all the way to the other end. When you reach the other end, you do the same thing again. So yarn over through the loop, yarn over again, pull through and have three chains on your hook. Then you do the same again without finishing that half double crochet into the next one. Yarn over through the loop, yarn over again, pull back through, and then yarn over and pull through all six stitches that are on your hook. Then you can chain one and turn your work. I continued doing this until the top reached a point like this. I'll show you how I finished off the point to make it a perfect triangular shape. My work now has three stitches remaining and you do one decrease and then just do one normal half double crochet in there and then chain one pull your work through and cut it off now you have the main body of your top done all that's left to do is to add the straps so as you can see these bits will fold round your back so we need to put ties on the ends of the points on the side. Put your hook through your work, 
pull the yarn through and tie it in a knot. I like to double, triple knot this just to make sure that the straps aren't gonna fall off and your top's gonna fall down. Um, you put your hook through, you pull the yarn through and then just chain as long as you want the strap. And then when you get to the end, obviously just pull your yarn through, snip off and pull tight. Then you wanna make, make sure your one on the other side is in line so I just kind of traced along and checked that it was going to be and then put my hook through and did the same on this side then you have the two bits at the top that will make the halter top bit round your neck you do the same on these two points make sure when you're making these that you you're making the tie long enough so that it can come up to the back of your neck tie and then have some left over to either make it into a bow or to just hang down um, as like a decorative feature uh, make sure your ties are a similar length so that it doesn't look weird. And there you go. All you've got to do left is to just tie in your ends. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I loved making this top. There are so many colours you could make it in. I think I'm going to make it in a green. This is how to make that top and I hope you enjoyed. Ooh, but maybe